Hey, I'm uh, camping in Michigan. We're in the southern peninsula, over by Ludington on the west side, in a national forest, just doing some boondocking. And I thought I'd do a uh, tour of the van. Actually, I did a tour of the van. It ended up being 45 minutes long. I, did, I filmed it yesterday. You probably don't want to see a 45 minute uh, detailed view of the van. If you do, I'm, I'll post a link into, uh, have a link to it either in a pinned comment or the, uh, in the description. And uh, yeah, 45 minutes top to bottom, front to back of everything that's in this thing. But I thought I would do a much quicker uh, van tour. This is the Ram Promaster 2500, but it is on the 136 inch wheelbase, which is kind of rare. The, the heavy suspension on the short wheel, on the short uh, van. And it's pretty stock. I do have uh, these rain gutters and uh, the KO2 tires, a little beefy. But the exterior of it is pretty stock. No hitch. I do have a hitch coming in two days. And if we come up here, climb this hill a little bit, I do have a Max Air fan up on top. And right in front of the Max Air fan is a little stubby two or three inch uh, cell booster antenna. And if you caught the, uh, the last video that I made some hard points there for the awning. But yeah, that's the uh, 2019 ProMaster. Well, let's go inside and check out that. Well, I guess we can start with the awning. I built that awning. It cost me about $20. It's uh, a couple hallway screens that uh, I bought from Walmart, I think, and just kind of uh, sewn them together. Get the magnets. Ugh. And they're all put up by uh, magnets and Velcro is how it's all attached. Works great. Okay, starting in the front. Everything is pretty stock. I do have uh, the swivel RS swivel seat for the passenger. The driver's side does not swivel. And uh, a mention on the floor, that hexagonal uh, floor mat is one contiguous piece over the entire floor. I bought it on Amazon and it was custom fit and it just slid right in there and it's one big rubber mat. It's really like that. Uh, got the uh, magnetic window shades from uh, Vantech and I really like those. They're a little small and they're expensive. I mean, small by they just kind of barely fit in there. But I, but boy, they do block the light. Uh, seat cushions. I built this. I built this table. See if I can do it one-handed. And uh, yeah, I just bought this and, and it just slides in there. And this uh, piece of wood here, I built that little shelf just to just so I can have a good place to stand or a good place to step because this area is if you know the ProMaster this is the spongy area it's really spongy for that's just how it comes I built this little piece of wood frame so I could have my table behind the uh, driver's seat is uh, apparently the garbage and where I have my 200 watt solar suitcase um, from Renogy, just it's Velcroed in there. And when, I, when I'm sitting for more than a day or two, I'll pull that out and charge the batteries. And also way back on the back wall back there is uh, the switch for the alternator charging. It's a, a battery isolator for alternator charging of the um, house bank. The, uh, boy, Trying to film in a van, it is tough because you just don't have a lot of room. The kitchen cabinets, uh, I do have the nice sink. The upper cabinets is uh, 
all just kitchen stuff, pots, pans, all that good stuff. You can see these, this paneling I put in is a just real thin eighth inch paneling and it goes all the way back behind the, and down the walls and actually goes all the way to the floor. Spices, all that good stuff. I do drink out of my water tank, but most of the stuff I do throw through a, uh, a, a zero water uh, pitcher. Just uh, helps with the taste. The uh, magnet board, of course. I do have under counter lighting. Yeah, nice. I use the gas one stove. Uh, I put a little cubby underneath for the Dometic fridge freezer. And it's on a slide out tray kind of hard to find these trays this is a most trays go east west this is a or most trays go north south you know they slide this way this one slides this way and it's a nice little tray it's a 12 volt fridge underneath for the gray water is just a five gallon uh, container and the sink just drains right into it and dirty clothes. <laughs> Switch for the uh, water pump. The water pump's on the back wall back there. I do have a nice little, this little area right here I wanted to utilize. So I put a piano hinge on part of the, uh, part of the uh, counter and underneath there is just some storage. I carry, I keep a um, induction cooktop, portable induction cooktop is in there. So when I'm plugged into shore power, I can just use that. Uh, this is a pull-out table. I can sit here. You can see where I usually sit and work on the computer or do whatever I want. And underneath that is a big uh, pantry drawer. It's a really deep and usually where all my food stores at. Uh, this is the Ames 1500 watt inverter charger, just some USB plugs, the Victron shunt battery monitor, and uh, over here is another couple more USBs and a standard um, automotive style plug-in 12 volt. And this actually goes to my um, cell booster. And I can just turn it on there. The cell booster actually lives up here where my MiFi is, indoor, outdoor, thermometer, JBL speaker, um, light switch, and it's dimmable. Down here is uh, more storage underneath, uh, underneath here. I got two compartments. That's where the infamous bucket lives and more storage underneath here. I have a Wave 3 Olympia heater on the end, and it does swing out. There's a piano hinge here, and it swings out and will come all the way around and point that way because the, they're uh, directional heaters. They, uh, in, that, uh, they do a pretty good job. They put out no uh, fumes, but it does put out water vapor, and if you're in a cold climate running that, you will get... Um, your windows all steamed up. There's the uh, fan. This is all just clothes storage up here. I built the uh, all these cabinets. I built this van with the help from my father. Um, we built the cabinets, but the doors and the finish was done by some Amish friends of ours. Same with here. We built the actual cabinets, but the, the doors were, were hung by a professional. Uh, bed, this is a queen size, or uh, this is a twin size bed. And it is, uh, I built this. There's a little bit of a, a lip here, which is even with the platform of the bed which is even with the countertop. So you can, in theory, pull this all the way up. It'll bridge and you could put a queen size mattress in there if you really wanted to, uh, to do that. So that is the 
quick tour of the inside of the van. And uh, yeah, let's go around back and uh, check out the check out the garage. Okay, this is the back end of the garage. A couple things I wanted to show real quick. This is the uh, 110 plug-in for shore power. I put that in, and uh, I said no hitch, but two days from now I'm getting a hitch. Then you gotta have a place for your stickers. Uh, people I've met along the way, Camper Van Kevin, Adventure Van Man, one adventure at a time. Um, Chrome from uh, Van City Van Life. Met him over in uh, Toronto a couple years ago. Anyways, this is the back end. Um, I use bins for everything. I just find them convenient. Canadian geese are out. <laughs> Let me uh, give you a close up. Um, before we get into the full, one thing on the bed, I have this Zoli spring system. They're from uh, uh, the marine industry, and that is, uh, they're plastic, but they're springy. Can't hold up the mattress and show you at the same time. But yeah, they're, uh, they're springy. And they also give you some, an air gap underneath the mattress, so, uh, cuts down on condensation and uh, mold. So this is the back of the van. This is actually up up underneath here is a uh, gazelle screen tent. It's just uh, Velcroed up there. Uh, track boards, table, my moon shade all live here underneath the, uh, underneath the bed and on top of the wheel well um, that they're all boxed in. That's a tight little area. Sorry about that. Uh, this is the uh, drawer that goes to the inside. And uh, this is the water tank underneath. 20 gallon water tank. I do have some lights up here, I think. If I can. And yeah, they really don't show that much. Water fill. The air for the water tank. And the lines going out. I do have a, uh, uh, a drain. And this is pressurized for... Uh, comes off the water pump and hopefully I think this is gonna be just a big enough space hopefully to put an Oru kayak in um, maybe a little later this summer so my thought was when I built this this size is water where you do the fill and everything and then all the electrics on the other side and hopefully another they never meet <laughs> The water tank, I did put a nice little slot here so you can see the water tank. And then I have a uh, little light. You can see I'm uh, between half and three quarters. That's just a puck light up on top of the water tank, um, just glued on top, uh, shining down, and uh, allows you to see how much water you got. Over here is the batteries. I got two 180 amp hour um, deep cell batteries sealed and uh, those are the batteries they're, they're uh, real skinny and tall there's two of them here they use them at the top of cell towers for backup power um, this little shelf comes out real quick this is where I keep keep some my vi air air pump and uh, leveling blocks the 1500 watt uh, inverter charger uh, over here is the uh, solar controller, and it's I can unplug it right now. It's completely unplugged, and it's just I keep it. I only I don't have any rooftop solar. This is just for deployable, and I just keep everything isolated um, until I actually have to uh, use it. And then this comes down underneath here, and underneath the uh, bumper down here is a little pigtail, so I can shut the doors and everything. I can. Uh, just run the solar like that. This is the uh, cell booster. The uh, 
You can see over here the plug I have for the shore power comes in and then the uh, inverter charger just plugs into here and that's the uh, how I run the shore power and uh, have everything on these velcro straps. This is where the uh, chair lives and it's put away. The same thing is up here is velcro straps. But that is the uh, the garage. So yeah, that is the uh, shortened <laughs> the, the shortened van tour because the first one was 45 minutes long, and uh, if you really want to see it, it's uh, I'll have a link either in the description or the pinned comment up at the top, and you can see uh, as I go through everything uh, in detail of this 2019 Ram ProMaster self-built. Oh, I did say I did the uh, this window. Um, God, I forget what CR crane, CW crane, something like that. The uh, window. This section does um, pop out for ventilation. Now I put that in. Uh, really easy. Of course, cutting the hole in the side of your van that size is a <laughs> it's a little nerve wracking, but so yeah, that is the uh, that is the van tour. Um, what else is going on? I'm just on a, a, a three or four day trip up here. Um, my house is uh, for sale. In fact, I think it's sold. And uh, for the next couple of weeks, we'll be doing all that paperwork. If you ever sold a house, you know that uh, what is involved with that. And then I will, uh, after that, be moving into this thing more or less full time. We'll be doing some uh, side trips around Michigan. Looks like, especially if my uh, if the house sells quickly, which I think I might be able to get out to the Canadian Maritimes later this summer, um, out to uh, Newfoundland. But right now we're just bopping around Michigan, and uh, it's pretty out here. It's uh, free camping, but designated campsites. Yeah, you can see the, the little blue markers for designated campsites over here on a place called Green Road. There's about uh, eight or nine designated campsites out here in the National Forest. This is number five. Uh, Green Road designated campsites, uh, 16 days, leave no trace. So yeah. Thanks for joining me. Um, been wanting to do an updated van tour for a while. I've been, had some requests for it. And uh, next time, next time I don't know where I'll be. I got two or three trips I want to take. One north, one south, just a few hundred miles. And uh, we'll see where we go next. So subscribe if you want to. Don't have to. And uh, we'll see you on down the road.